I'm all right. I feel good today. How about you? I'm doing great. <laughs> Mark? Yes, I'm here. Well, what are you doing? Um, I'm actually on my phone. I'm, I'm, I'm pressing my phone. Yeah, okay. Um, my, my neighbor brought me food. So please, if you don't mind, you can help me microwave it. Yeah, yes, I, I will. And just, just give me a 10, 10 minute time. Okay. Is, is that fine? <laughs> that, that's fine. Good, good. Thank you. You're so kind. Mark. What are you doing? Uh, I, uh, are you blind? Can't you see I'm pressing my phone? Um, hi, James. Why did you shout like that? Um, it's Mark. I saw him. He... Never mind. I have a new song that I want you to listen to. Oh, really? Okay, that would be lovely. <laughs> I mean, that's the best I can do. <laughs> There's not much to what I can do anyway. All right. Uh, but before I play the song, I need to see Mark. Okay, I, I hope there's no problem. N not at all. I just need to see him. Mark. Uh, okay. Uh, Anissa, let me just um, speak to James. Okay. I, I just hope there's no problem. What is this, man? Mark. I should be asking you. No, tell me, what is wrong with you? What did I just see you doing? You're, you're stealing from Anita. I can see you're very dumb. Don't you know Anita is a rich kid? Her dad gives her everything freely. She has jewelry, she has money. Man, are you, are, are you this stupid? Does that give you the audacity to steal from her? It is wrong. And you know she's blind. Listen, I see you are very stupid. You only steal from people who can see. She's blind, she doesn't even know I am stealing from her. Do you understand? Mark, Mark, this is wrong. I mean, it is unfair. Imagine she was meant to be your sister. <laughs> she can never be my sister. This should be the first and the last time you stay from her. If not, I will tell her. You dare not watch me. <laughs> James. Just keep going straight. Move, move a bit to your right, then come back to your left. Yes, yes. And um, you can, you can sit now. Yeah, careful. Yeah. yeah. Not quite a day. Yeah. Anita. Yeah. Mm. Now that we are home, there's something I want to tell you. Okay, you can't tell me anything, right? Yes, yes. Uh, Anita, I think I like you. <laughs> oh, stop it, Mark. <laughs> Please, don't let us ruin our friendship. Please. I, 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 Anita, I am... I am sincere. I, I honestly do. I like you, Anita. And I, I want us to take our friendship to the next level. Really? Are you sure? An Anita, I've thought about it over and over and over. And I've come to a conclusion that, yes, you, you are the woman I, I love. <laughs> But, 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 but and, 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 and I, would, I, I want you to, to take your time and, you know, think about it. Well, I don't think there's anything to think about. I mean, you've been my friend for what now? You're a very kind person. You're caring. And I'm sure you're handsome too. So what else would one want in a man? But for some reasons, I think I would have to think about it. Yeah, yes, I would, I would wait. But, 
Mark? Y yes? I... Can I ask you something? Sh sure, go ahead. What if... What if I don't agree to what you're asking me right now? Would it affect our friendship? <laughs> Anita, honestly, I would, I would really want you to accept. But if you say no, it's, it's fine. We, we will be friends. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't believe you. I mean, that's what you guys always say. It's fine. <laughs> But when a lady rejects your proposal, you start acting all angry. Anita, I am different. I'm different from all the guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Okay, I'll think about it. <laughs> Thank you, Anita. You're so sweet. <laughs> uh, that reminds me. Um, my my dad gave me some money for my upkeep. Please help me with this. He gave me some cash. Uh, okay, okay, it's here. Uh, my dad has been so supportive. I mean, in my next life, he will still be my dad. <laughs> yes, I. You, you, are, you are so lucky to have your dad. <laughs> Yeah. I really love him. In my next life, he would still be my dad. Yeah. Yes, yes. I wish I, I had a dad like yours. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Such a sweet person. Yeah, 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 yeah yes. I, I, <laughs> thank you. And uh, don't f forget to think about my proposal. Fine. I'll give it a hug. Uh, would, would you like to see a movie? Oh, sorry. Uh, li listen to your favorite song. Did you do that on purpose? No. You know, if we see a movie, I'll always explain it to you. I know. Should we see a movie? Uh, no, I wouldn't want to put you through so much stress. Okay, uh, then I'll play your favorite song. Okay. Something really calm. I had, I had quite a stressful day. Hi, James. Hi, Anita. You said you wanted to see me. Yes. Hope all is well. All is well. Okay. So, I... Anita, I... I really like you. I know we've been friends for a while, but... <laughs> I, I like you, and... <laughs> Did you and Mark plan this? Oh, no, no. We didn't plan any of this. I, in fact, I, I didn't even tell him. I just came straight to you. Uh, because he just told me he liked me recently. And here you are also. <laughs> I mean... Oh, he, he told you he, he, he likes you? Uh, yes. Yes, he, he did. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. I. I had to say it. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> not at all. Uh, listen. The only thing you did right now was to express yourself, and it's fine. I mean, we're friends, and we're neighbors as well. Like, how would they feel? Besides. I wouldn't want us to ruin what we have, our friendship. Yes, yes. Please just, just forget what I told you and I would rather you forget the proposal and we still remain friends, please. Are you sure it won't affect our friendship? Are you sure I can still be free around you? Yes, and... yes, Anita. Hope you're good. Yes. All right. I uh, hope you are too. Um, I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. Okay. Um. Um. I called the both of you here 
because I have something very important to say. I know the both of you asked me out. And Wait, what? James, you asked her out? Yes, I did. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It, it's okay, really. Um, sincerely, I like one of you, and I would make my choice now. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so sure that must be me. <laughs> I'm not blind. What? Wow! <laughs> oh my God! I'm glad to hear this. <laughs> that means you went for an operation. No. <laughs> No, I didn't. In fact, I've never been blind. It was all an act. You were never blind? I don't understand. I would explain. I... I needed to find out who was being genuine between the both of you and who was being opportunistic. And honestly, there was no other way to find out between the both of you who really cared, as he said. So that was the only way I could find out, really, to see your true character and know if you really loved me for who I was or for what I had. So you're, you, you, you've been saying... Yes, Mark. I saw everything you did in this house. How you took money from my bag, how you stole from me. I mean, you are the only one who seems so uneasy about finding out that I regained my sight. Just so Carlos. James. Yes. I'm sorry I had to do it this way, right? But I think I like you too. <laughs> I mean, I think I have feelings for you as well. Why don't we take our friendship to another level? Really? Sure. Why not? I mean, you're an amazing person. And you look really handsome too, I must say. Thank you. Mark? At this point, I think it's high time you left my apartment. I mean, I do not want any drama. You've taken enough already. Please just leave. Why didn't you say anything? I'm sorry. There was no other way. If there was another way, I would have rather done that. I'm, I'm glad you're not blind, though. <laughs> I mean, I am glad as well. <laughs> Nothing, nothing, babe. I thought the doctor said you should rest for five minutes after we make out. <laughs> yes, babe, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to, to rest. Okay. You know, we are trying to get pregnant. <laughs> I, I know, babe. I know, babe. Um, I'll, I'll give you the baby you're looking for. We are looking for. <laughs> Where are you? I'm here, babe. I'm here.
Welcome. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please come in. Come in. Come in. Thank Have you. your seat. Babe, the agent is here. Oh, great. You're welcome, sir. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. But what's the name? Um, the name is Richard. Richard. Mr. Richard, I would like to thank you for getting a good store for my wife to start up a business. You know, I must say you're a good man also. You know, spending all that money just to set your wife up in business. I admire it. You can say that again. My husband is the best. <laughs> um, babe. Yes? I actually need your help with something. What is that? I need a guarantor to help me sign the lease. Oh. There's no problem. You can give me documents. Thank you so much, babe. The document is here. Babe? Yes? You have to sign here. 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 Yes. Yes, there. Okay. You have to sign here as well. Here. Yes, there. Um, one more. Another one. Here. Yeah. Yes, babe. Okay. Is that all? <laughs> no. You still have to sign. You have to sign the full pages. What? Babe, why am I signing so many pages? Uh, I'm sorry, you know. Um, Tenancy laws have changed and uh, we need to go with the trend. And also, we just want to ensure that, you know, uh, the guarantor can ensure the, the, there's continuous payment of rent. Uh, but, you know, money is not a problem, but uh, I will sign this. Yes, the full pages, babe. Yeah? Yes. Here, here, here. Okay. Here. Oh, babe, why am I signing so many pages just to be your guarantor? Is that not too much? Oh, babe, you're overthinking these things. It doesn't matter. Babe, just sign. Here, here. Here. Yes, there. <laughs> That's all. Thank you so much, babe. I love you so much. Um, that'll be all. <laughs> um, so I'll just take my leave. I'll, I'll see you out. seen the video too. <laughs> Honey, what is the noise I'm hearing? Well, it's the voice of the new owner of the house. <laughs> the new owner of which house? Of this house. remember selling up this house to anyone so what do you mean by a new owner it's because it's sold out already babe i sold the house already and the new owner is already here you what <laughs> babe how could you be so mean to me by selling my house well you did and all your signatures are on every document. We even have pictures of you signing them. <laughs> but that's not possible. Well, it is because the house is sold out already. You know what? Let's just pack our stuff and leave this place. Um, we'll have to hurry up about it as well. Don't worry, I, I rented a one-bedroom apartment. I mean, us. I rented a one-bedroom apartment for us downtown. Of course, I will not let you sleep on the streets. Me as well. Just give me a minute, okay? You can't be serious. Honey, uh, 
What is this? Your luggages. <laughs> I mean, our luggages. We, we need to leave the house. You're joking, right? <laughs> I'm not joking. I sold the house. I need the money. You need the money? But I've always taken good care of you. I give you anything you ask. Well, I need much more money than that. <laughs> I do a lot of things for you. Do you think I'll be doing them if I wasn't benefiting anything? Of course not. I sleep with a blind man. I take care of a blind man. I take you everywhere. I try to make you happy at every time. Please, my friends even laugh at me. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you now? If I wasn't benefiting anything or hope to benefit something, do you think I'll be doing any of that? So what you're trying to tell me now is it has always been about my money, about my properties. Babe, I'm just trying to hustle here, trying to make my future better. There's a one bedroom apartment for you in town. You can't go there. Just let's just leave it like that. Sorry, where did you get the documents for this house? <laughs> um, where you put your documents. And what's funny? Ladies of nowadays, <laughs> you always run faster than your shadow. Look, none of the documents in this house is real. All of them are fake. <laughs> yeah, we are definitely not serious about this. Stop it. <laughs> Look, I worked so hard to end this, to end money, to build this house. Do you think I would place the document for this house in the hands of a girl I met just a year ago. Wait, wait, even my car? All my documents are with my lawyers. So the documents you found in this house, none of them is genuine. Jeremy, go to hell. You're such a selfish man. You don't even have my interest at heart. Why would you put all, all, all your do You mean all your documents are fake? Look, the car you drive, I bought it in your name. At least I'm not as callous as you are. Even the business I established for you, I did it in your name. So it's, it is clear you're just after my money. Well, for your information, the agent that came the other day, Mr. Richard, is actually my boyfriend. What? And yes, and I'm going with him. I'm leaving you selfish man to yourself. You can take your house. Why is there a police officer here? Oh. Officer, please. I'm sorry, madam, you can't leave. Mr. Jeremy already called us. We track you down here. You are under arrest. Are you also Mr. Richard? You are also under arrest. Please. Please move. Honey, is Monica here? Um, no, Monica is not here. Oh, okay. I thought I heard you going to the door. Yeah, uh, I, I thought I heard someone knock, so I just... Okay. Yeah. Babe, I, I think Monica is outside. Okay. Hey. Hi, Hi Chris. I'm good. And how are you doing? I'm doing well. Hey, Monica. Hey, Laura. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good. How was the trip? Uh, it was fine. Okay. okay. Um, please, Monica. My maid made, um, she made a meal for us but she left because she had to go see her family can you please help me serve my husband mm -hmm. of course I will, I will help you do that okay thank you so much what would i do without you <laughs> what are friends for don't mention it um, let me get to the kitchen and set the table okay Oh, 
Yeah, that reminds me, babe. Uh, I need to submit some documents to your brother tomorrow. Do you remember I said I should bring some documents to him? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. And you know I like to, you know, do my thing sometimes. Yes. So let me just get to the room and arrange everything. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Well, don't stay too long, okay? Sure, I won't, babe. All right. Yeah. Christy, yeah. what is going on? I mean, why is this taking so much time? I mean, how long will it take you to just look for something and just dispose your wife? You know, it's not easy. I can't just dispose her because of her condition. <laughs> Wait, don't don't tell me you're already feeling sympathy for her already. Listen, you need to understand this. My brother owns the company where I work. And I can't just end things when I've not actually gained their trust. You know what? I have a plan. Really? A perfect idea. How about if she falls on the bathroom? I mean, <laughs> blind people fall in the bathroom every day. I googled it, and the percentage of blind people that fall in the bathroom and die almost all the time is more like up to a thousand. So why shouldn't your wife be part of them? I think this is a great idea. Of course, it is. And the moment we execute it, we can finally be together. Yo, babe, that's it, is it. I would do anything just to be with you. I know, babe. I was so long to be with you. Um, hey, Monica. Yes, Lara. Um, the doctor said there is a new science test that they're going to test on me to see if it would work for me. Oh, for your eyes, right? Um, yes. Um, I really hope it works. I hope so too. I'm um, so, hope you don't mind taking me there tomorrow. I'm actually going to be very busy. Sorry. Oh, okay. No problem. Um, Laura, I should be on my way now. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks for coming. <laughs> it's fine. I'll, I'll do your call when I get to the house. All right. I really appreciate that. Oh, babe, let me walk when you go to the door. All right. Yeah. What is it that Laura just told me? about a scientific program that is supposed to help her regain her sight. Listen carefully. She go for all of these things every time and they never work. It's better not work. At least we should have enough time to execute our plans before she does her scientific whatever. I understand your rights. Can you make her cancel her appointment for tomorrow? Okay, I'll text a doctor with her phone and I'll um, change the appointment dates for another day. That's better. Okay, um, I think you need to leave now. Take care of yourself. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Babe, we're going to be late. <sighs> Darling? Yes, let's go. Oh, hold on. The doctor called in. And he said he is cancelling the appointment. What? Um, he said it's really urgent and we actually fix a different day for it. Okay. But well, are you sure? Darling, 
She and I know I want this more than anyone. Okay, no problem. I'll still be heading out anyways. I'll just go see my brother instead. Uh, okay, so I, th I think Chris should drive you. Yes. Okay, uh, let me just call Chris. Yeah, uh, where should he be? I don't know. Uh, Check, I think, at the car park. Okay, uh, Chris! Chris! Babe, I thought you were supposed to be at your brother's place. Hey, honey. Um, I came back early. Okay. So, what's good? It went well. Actually, my brother is going to be joining us. I asked him to come over. Oh, oh okay. Also, um, Monica. I should have to come too. Monica? Yes. Wow. Okay. Um... <laughs> That was not a problem at all. Okay. Oh, I think someone is knocking. Okay, that should be one of them. Yeah. Um, I'll get it though. All right. Um, that must be my brother. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Welcome, Ralph. Hi. So, babe, why are we holding this meeting? Well, earlier today, when you told me that the doctor cancelled the appointment, I was a bit suspicious because that is so unlike him. He never cancels any appointment. So I went there anyways. When I told you I was going to my brother's place, I actually went to see the doctor because I suspected there was a foul play. So I asked him about it and he, he told me that he didn't cancel any appointment. I was wondering who could have canceled my appointment on my behalf. I was shocked when he said, who else has access to my phone? And that's just you, babe. That's when I realized he, you canceled my appointment with the doctor because you don't want me to regain my sight. I was wondering why you wouldn't want me to regain my sight. Well, now I know the reason. Uh, although my vision is not so clear, but I can see that you're putting on black and um, she's putting on wine or red yes i don't know why you never wanted me to regain my sight you two were dating each other behind me i confirmed it when i saw you to hug and kiss i can't believe you do such a thing to me and you, Mabel. Um, Laura, I'm, I'm really sorry. I saw the way you kissed and hugged my husband. That, that was when I confirmed that you both never wanted me to regain my sight. So all this while, you have been pretending to be my friend, pretending to take care of me. Well, you just wanted my husband for yourself. I'm really sorry. I um so Ralph, 
this is the reason I wanted you here with me. So when I say this, they don't hurt me or, or kill me even. <sighs> Ralph, please, I, I want both of them out of my house this instant. Babe, babe, babe. Leave! Laura, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm... You heard my sister. You wanted to leave. No, Laura, please, I'm sorry. Please, leave this moment. Hello, Hello Mosi family. family. I'm sure you just enjoyed that amazing video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Bye. Bye. Everything I need is on this list. Please, if you can help me with it. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, but seems you are new here. I haven't seen you here before. Yes, I just moved in here, and someone told me about the supermarket, so I decided to buy my stuff from here. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Um, sorry, but how were you able to make this list, um, given your your condition? Yes. Um, my doctor helped me in writing the list. Oh, okay, no problem. I'll, I'll just help you get them now. Okay, thank you very much. Tony, what are you doing? I'm helping the lady get her grocery list. Let me see the list. Come on. Tony, well, what is in that cart is more than what is in this list. And so? What are you doing? She's blind. She won't know. She can't see it. And so? Must teach it her? She won't know. Please, let me have it done. This is wrong, Tony. Only if she knows. She doesn't have to know. So, madam, I've been able to get your list. Oh, thank you. But well, I heard you having a conversation with someone. I hope there's no problem. Uh, no, no problem, ma. I just had a quick meeting with my colleague. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, just a few minutes, please. Um, your total is a hundred dollars, ma'am. A hundred dollars. Yes, yeah. Hundred dollars, ma'am. Okay. Please, can you help me take out the cash from my bag? Oh, okay, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, uh, ma'am, th th there's no cash here. No cash? Are you sure about that? Yes, maybe you can pay with card. Okay. Um, can I trust you with my pain? Oh, yeah, yes, you can. Okay, please go ahead. Ma? 
Take care. Thank you. So, what's the pain? One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, it's, it's taken care of. Okay. Um, your bag, so I can put the pin, your uh, card back. Okay. I really love how you work. Thank you, Ma. You're so hardworking. I appreciate it. I'm doing my best. I would like to be the manager here too one day. Oh, wow, that's great. Yes, sir. You know, I think you deserve it. <sighs> Thank you, Ma. And I think you're honest as well. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Let me just pack this. Actually, don't be any need for that. You see, um, what's your name again? Uh, uh, Tony. 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 Is this how you treat customers? Or is this your definition of being honest? Uh, madam, I, I don't understand. <laughs> Who is the owner of the shop? Um, Mrs. Diva Justin. Exactly. And you're looking at her. You don't need to be shocked. But... You see, I was carrying out a test on all my staff, in all branches. But I decided to add a twist to it and call myself to this particular branch because I've heard stories about you. <laughs> and to my very surprise and disappointment, <laughs> you're busy stealing from customers. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, Ma. I, 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 didn't, I didn't mean to please. I, 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 I wasn't fo I wasn't focused, please. Please. You weren't focused, please. I see. Please forgive me. <laughs> you know what? I have a very good mind to call the cops on you right now. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, man. Please. I won't do that. I have actually forgiven you. But I'm sorry you can't stay here anymore. You have to leave. Please, please man. Please, a second chance, please, man. Mr. Tony, Please, I won't want to take drastic actions. Okay, okay. okay. I'm sorry. Just go. What's your name? Greg. Greg. I really appreciate your honesty and for trying to stop him. So for that, I want you to assume the manager position. Thank you so much, ma'am. And um, please, you can return all of this. All right, ma'am. And please, can I have my cash back? Thank you so much. <laughs> Honey, who was that? No one. I heard someone cough. Babe, I think you have acoustic trauma. Not at all. Acoustic syndrome isn't about hearing strange sound. Maybe it's just me. Bless this food. Amen. Amen. noticed you came down without your stick. Yes, I asked Mary to bring me down without a stick. I'm fine. Um, all right. But you need to be careful, okay? Okay, baby. <laughs> Honey, who was that? No one. I heard someone cough. Babe, I think you have acoustic trauma. Not at all. 
Acoustic syndrome isn't about hearing strange sound. Maybe it's just me. We all know you're the smart one here. That's why I chose you. I love you. I love you too, baby. So how's the new babe? It's fine, baby. Mary! Mary! Ma, you called me. Please get me juice. Okay. Babe, I, I thought we don't take juice in this house. I just started, babe. But you never told me about it. I'm sorry, I forgot to. But this has zero sugar. Ma, your drink. So, has anyone been in this house? I, I mean, when I and my wife are not in the house, has anyone been around? No, sir. Okay, you may go. Thank you, sir. Babe, can you please pass me water? All right. Thank you. Babe, that's the flow. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Yeah. I just pray my next operation is a success. Trust me, babe. It will be. Thank you, babe. Yeah. Honey. Yeah. I really don't want to go with Mary for this operation. It should be you. Babe, you know I would not want to miss this. But who is going to run the company? Mr. James can do that. You know I don't trust him. Plus, I don't want anyone manipulating the numbers or moving funds. Well, that's really thoughtful of you. Thank you. I hope I come back with good news. I hope so too, and I'm certain of it. Come on, let's go. Thank you. done with this guy. He never misses an eye treatment session. What if one day he regains his sight? <laughs> That's not possible. His sight is bad. Bad, bad. Completely damaged. The accident took his wife and only son. That's to tell you how brutal it is. He's never going to see again. Besides, we should stay a bit longer. The longer we stay, the more money we make of him. But I'm tired already. Babe, I'm tired of tiptoeing around the house. Besides, what if the maid decides to speak out? Please, I've already settled her end. We have nothing to worry about. Hmm? Please smile for me. Babe. Honey. Where are you? You won't believe that operation was not successful. Babe, you mean you can't see me? No, I can't. I'm tired. I don't think I can continue again. But where's Mary, babe? She's coming. But she's supposed to come in with you. Yeah, I asked her to help me do something. I need to inform my sister now about this operation update. But first, please help me to the couch.
Thank you, baby. Google. Call Lucia. Lucia is not available at the moment. Please drop a message. Okay, sis. The operation didn't go well. It wasn't successful again. Whilst I was being operated on, I was just thinking about the red dress that you love the most and how much you've helped me. Please call me back. Thank you. Babe? Yes? I have to do something upstairs. But Mary can do that. You know she's stressed already. Let me just handle it. Okay, okay. Right. Sit here and wait for me, okay? No problem. Love you. I love you too. You what is it? You saw how close that was. Babe, listen. We need to end this now. No one will suspect if a blind man falls from the stairs. We need to end this. Let's kill him. Do, do you think that's a good idea? It is. And we need to act fast. Like you said, he's intelligent. Okay. I think someone is around. Just wait here. Okay, let me check. Okay, I'll be waiting. Hi, Lucia. Hello. I was around the area when I heard Leah's voice note, so I thought to come over. I'm so sorry for the help pressure. Thank you. Okay, Liam, you spoke about a red dress and all the things I've been doing for you. And I remember we talk about red dress whenever we're in danger. Are you in any danger? No. Yes. What's going on? I'll make everything clear. The operation was successful. And I can see. Wait. Are you serious? What color of dress am I wearing? You're wearing a check dress. Wait, what's going on today? It's a full ball match. But why didn't why didn't you tell me on on the phone? I mean, when I came to share the good news, I met a woman hugging a man in my house, but I couldn't tell if it was my wife or not. So I called her name. And she answered. And then I saw her walk in with that strange man. That was when I called Mary and asked her about the strange man. And she told me everything. I was so shocked that my wife, living in this house with another man, that was when I called you. And as you can see, truly in danger. Babe. Don't you say a word. Sis, I'm leaving with you and Mary to your house. And you, when I get back tomorrow, I don't want to see you or any of your belongings here. Let's go.
sir. You asked to see me. Yes. Um, Did you forget something? No, not at all. My wife and kids traveled for vacation this week, but I couldn't join them because of the conference that I have to go for. Oh, okay. But I have one problem though. What's that, sir? My sister is at home and uh, she will need someone to stay with her. Okay, do you want me to get somebody? Not really. Uh, you know, I don't trust anyone with such a task like that. That's true, but um, I'm actually very free. Are you sure? Yes, sir, since it's just for a day. Uh, but there's another downside to it. What's that, sir? Uh, she's blind. That's not a problem. It's not a thing for you to worry about. I can stay and help her with stuff. Okay, thank you. You know, well, you're someone I trust already. My family knows you and uh, I'm sure we should not have a problem. Of course, sir. Okay, that's all. I just want to confirm that. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Peach. It's a good thing you're here already. Okay, sir. Are you ready to leave? Yes. I was just waiting for you. Um, sis, this is Peach here. She's very familiar with the house and uh, she will be assisting you whilst I'm not around. Uh, if there's anything you need, please, you can reach out to her. Uh, Peach, this is my sister, Dulcine. Please help me take care of her while I'm gone. It's nice to meet you, ma'am. Um, Stanley, you shouldn't have bothered. I could have managed myself. Come on. We both know your current disposition. It's no worries. All right, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> no problem. All right, sir. Please do take care of yourself. Uh, thank you. Wow. So she's blind. Hmm. I have always wanted to explore this house. This is a very perfect opportunity to explore. Let me just look around. Peach. Um, I can hear some noise in the house. Is that you? <laughs> no, it's not me. I think it's coming from outside. Oh, okay then. Would you like me to get anything for you? Um, yes. What I'll be fine. Okay, I'll be right back. There you go. I think I should just turn on the TV. When the TV is on and it makes noise, she won't get to know the sound was from here. That's what I should do. to watch TV? Oh yes, there's actually a program on TV that I like. It starts very soon. Okay, all right then.
Peach. Yes, ma. Um, I've been calling you. Uh, sorry, I dozed off while watching the program. Do you need anything? Yes, I, I am famished. Please, can you help me bring out my food from the freezer and microwave it? All right, I'll do that. Thank you. Uh, let me help you up. The food is on the dining. Oh, okay. Careful. Just wait. I think someone is at the door. Oh, okay. I'll check. Okay. Oh, 
Peach. Who was at the door? Oh, somebody. He got the wrong address. Oh, okay. Um, please, give me my chicken. There's supposed to be a chicken on the floor. Chicken? Yes. No, ma, there's no chicken when I checked. Oh, really? Yes. All right, then. Peach. Yeah? Is someone else in this house? I, I can feel someone else in this house. No, there's actually no one else. I've just been the one moving around. I'm looking for something. Oh, okay. What are you looking for? Maybe I can help you. I'm not sure you can. I'm actually in the best position to find what I'm looking for. You know you can help me in your condition. Okay, actually, I asked because I could help you. I could tell you where it is placed. Okay, I'm looking for black coffee. Oh, check the third drawer in the kitchen. Thank you. I'll check later. Okay. Hello? Hello, Peach. I'm on my way right now. In fact, I'm close. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. All right, sir. Was that my brother? Yes, he said he's on his way back. Okay. So, Miss Dawson, I hope I was able to take good care of you. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm sure Mr. Stanley will be here soon. Okay. Do you need anything else? No, I'm fine. All right. I'll just continue with my program. All right. How are you? I'm fine. Um, welcome, Stan. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm sure Peachy has been taking fantastic care of you. Oh, she has been so nice to me. You see, Peach, I'm so disappointed. I got so disappointed when Dawson told me of all your actions. Sir, so, told you about what? You see, Dawson here is a paid actress. And I paid her to set you up because I plan to promote you at the office and this all was a test. A test to know if you were worth taking you to the next stage. So, do you want me to explain more or you rather confess? Sir, I'm sorry, I'll confess. <sighs> I, I actually stole some jewelries upstairs and I ate the chicken that was supposed to be for Dawson. I also brought my boyfriend home. I, I brought my boyfriend here so we could have fun. Sir, please, 
I'm sorry. Will I be losing my job? Well, like I told you, it was a test. And you know what happens to those who fail a test. You may take your leave now. Sir, please. Leave, leave. I'll just get my bag. Thanks for doing this, Dawson. It's nothing. You're welcome. Anytime. I appreciate it. So, I'll see you shortly. Oh, okay. Oh, you mean you're going to give that blind man water from the tap? Yes, and I'm sure he won't know about it. Why, why would you do that, Ruby? Please. You know, you know how things are, we don't even get enough tips from customers anymore and by the time I'm done serving that blind man today, I'm sure of how much I'm going to gain. Well, Ruby! Thank you so much, Dan. Oh, don't mention it, man. You're always welcome. Um, should I get you what you want? No, no, no. Don't worry yourself. Just call me the waitress and they will attend to me. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. All right, all right. Hello, waiter. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, good afternoon. What can I offer you, please? Uh, my friend here is blind and I'm in a hurry or else I would have ordered everything for him. So, I want you to take care of him. Get him everything he wants, please. All right, that's not a problem, sir. All right. You're good? Yes. All right, Carl. I'm leaving now. Sir. Sir, can I take your order? Get me table water. Then, I'll take a look at the menu and I'll tell you what I want. Um, okay, sir, so I'll get you the table water, but how do you want to take a look at the menu? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I can't help but laugh. Obviously, you're blind, so how do you want to see the menu? Sorry, I am so sorry. What I meant was, you get me the menu, then you read them out for me, and I'll tell you what I want. All right, no problem, sir. I'll be right back. What are you doing? Is that for a customer? Of course, it's for a customer. You see that man there? He's blind. That doesn't still explain why you're filling the bottle with water from the tap. You don't get it. That man is blind. He asked for a table water. And I'm sure you know how much that is in this restaurant. If I give him this, he won't know what I did. And the money will go into my pockets. Oh, you mean you're going to give that blind man water from the tap? Yes, and I'm sure he won't know about it. Why, why would you do that, Ruby? Please. You know, you know how things are. We don't even get enough tips from customers anymore. And by the time I'm done serving that blind man today, I'm sure of how much I'm going to gain. But Ruby, I thought 
you say you get tips from customers all the time? Can you just stop being all nice and mind your business? Ruby, this is not nice. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. So your water is here. Oh. oh, thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, I hope this is table water. Because my doctor advised me not to take any other water, especially tap water. Of course, sir. It's table water. I won't bring something else for you. All right, please. Ca can you help me open it? Oh, OK. All right, sir. Don't worry, I'll open it for you. It's open now, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Please give me a minute to get the menu so I can read it out to you. OK, no problem. I'm here, sir. We have pasta and meatball. We have chicken and chips. We have fried rice and beef. And we also have plantain. OK. I will go with something simple. Just give me fried rice and beef, and then add plantain to my order. All right, no problem, sir. I'll be right back. Juan, guess what? What? That blind man just ordered for fried rice, beef, and plantain. And guess what I'm going to do? What is that? I will do what any sane person would do. A sane person would take his order, tell the chef about it, so that he can prepare it, and then you take it to your customer. No, 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 no. That is not what a sane person would do. That's exactly what a foolish person would do. We all know this is a very big restaurant and people don't finish their food here. So what I'm going to do is serve him leftovers. He obviously won't know about it. Ruby! What? That's not right. How will you even get the money from the customer for the food? That's very simple. I'll just tell him the POS is not working. Then he has no other choice than to transfer to my personal account. This is wickedness. No, it's not wickedness. I'm just trying to make extra money for myself. Joanne, can you see how good this leftover looks? Does it make it right? He definitely won't know. Your food is here, sir. Thank you. Let me help you with your spoon. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Enjoy your meal, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you're done. I hope you enjoyed it, sir. Yes. All right. Can I have my bill? OK, sir. Your bill is um, $105 for the food and uh, $5 for the water. That's $110. OK. Please, can I get the POS machine? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, there's a fault on the POS machine, but you can make a transfer to the company's account. Just a minute, please.
Can I have the account number now? All right, sir. 64. 64. 27. 27. 1045. 1045. But, sir, how are you able to type? I thought you're blind. Oh, there is a software that helps us with our phones. It's connected to this airport. So, whatever I say, it's what it taps. Oh, that's nice. Sorry, but the voice recognition on this account number says the account number belongs to Ruby Jones. Yes, sir. That's the name of the owner of the restaurant. She usually asks us to use her account sometimes for transactions. Oh, that's fine. I have sent the money. All right, sir. I'll pack this. Ruby, wait. Uh, what? How, how do you know my name? I thought you were blind. That's because I can see it on your name tag. I, I, but... Well, as you can see, I am not blind. I saw you filling the bottle with tap water. And even the food you brought me were leftover foods. You didn't even stop me while I was eating it. Sir, I'm sorry. I only did that because I thought you were blind. Oh, you thought I was blind? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Kyle, you revealed yourself so soon. No, still in progress. Oh, I'd like to see this. Ruby, this will teach you a lesson not to cheat on anyone if they are blind or not. Sir. I'm sorry. I, I can refund you all your money if that's what you want. I don't want my money. All I want from you is my job. Y your job? I don't understand, sir. My name is Kai Luke. I am the CEO of this restaurant. You know, weeks, weeks back, I got a report from the management that my staff are misbehaving. And I didn't want my HR to fire my staff for no good reason. So I decided to come in myself and see what's going on. That is the reason why I acted blind. Sir, please, I'm sorry. I don't want to lose my job. You should have thought about that before cheating a poor man. Ruby. You are not sorry. You are only sad because you got caught. Now, moving forward, you are relieved of your job and your duties. Now, let's go, please. Please, sir. Coming home. Hope you had a good trip. Uh, yes. Sweetheart, why are you wearing shades and why are you holding a walking stick? You're in, inside the house. Come on. Oh, honey, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the phone. My eye got blasted at the war zone. Hmm. And the doctor said I'll be blind forever. What? And there's nothing that can be done. Oh my god. Are you serious? I'm, I'm so sorry about this. Oh, my God. Honey, I am sorry I, I brought this upon us. You don't have to be sorry. You don't have to be sorry. Honey, please help me thank Ella here. She has been the one taking good care of me ever since I lost my sight. She has been providing everything I, I wanted. Oh, Ella, thank you so much for taking good care of my husband. I really appreciate it. No need to mention, ma'am. If I don't take care of him, who will? It's my pleasure. Thank you so much, Ella. Yes, thank you, Ella. Please, ma'am. 
Make sure you continue to take care of him. Of course, I'll do that. I would like to take my leave now. Thank you so much. Sir, permission to fall out, sir. I think we should go inside so you can tell me how everything happened. Okay, okay. Please. Let me help you. Yes. Hello, Andy. Hello, Natalia. I hope you slept well. You know, Benita, I woke up thinking about you, about your body, about your sexy touch. I miss you too. So, when do you think we can see? You know, I am ready to see you whenever you are ready. You know, I'm always ready for you. And you can actually come over to my house. I thought you said your husband is coming this week. Yes. In fact, he's around. What? Do you want me to come? Knowing fully well that your husband is a military man. I mean, do you want to put me in trouble? Come on. Andy, relax. <laughs> Did he just ask me to relax? Yes. Because you know what? My husband is a blind man now. What? You mean your husband is blind now? His eyes got blasted at war, so we can actually have the whole house to ourselves without him seeing anything. Do you really want me to come? Of course. You know he can't see anything, so all you have to do is sneak into the house and we'll just enjoy ourselves. Okay, I'll come around tomorrow. Alright, baby. So I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I need to hang up now. Bye. Bye. Honey! Honey! I think there's someone at the door. Yes, we have. Who is that? His name is Andy. He's my junior colleague at work. Mr. Andy, you are welcome to our humble home. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Mr. Collins, your wife told me what happened to you. I'm very sorry to hear about it. No, no problem. Thank you so much, Mr. Andy. All right, Mr. Collins. That's what brought me. I think I should take my leave now. Uh, Mr. Andy, so soon? Yes, Mr. Collins. I have a lot of things I need to do at work. So I need to run around now. Okay, okay, yeah. Mr. Andy. Hope to see you soon. Sure, sure. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Sweetheart, let me see him off. Okay. Let's go to the room. Sweetheart, let me finish up what I was in in the room. I'll be right back, okay? Oh, okay, honey. Let's go, I think he's here. That's it. Sweetheart. Honey. Guess who is here? Babe, you know I'm not good at guessing. Okay, your best friend is here. Oh my God, do you mean Frederick? Yes, it's me. Frederick, give me a handshake. Oh, Frederick, it's been a long time. Yes, you know, um, after your wife told me you were back, I decided to check up on you. Collins, I'm really sorry for what happened to you. Oh, Frederick. Thank you so much. Do you know what? No matter what happens, I'm always I promise you, I and your wife will always be by you. Thank you so much, Frederick. You know, I actually brought you a present. Are you serious? Wow. Thank you so much, Frederick. Collins, I really need to leave now. Oh, Frederick, you just go here. Collins, you know, on my way down here, I got a call from the office. And it's very urgent. But I decided to see you first before I return to the office. 
I, I understand you. I understand you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you so much. Honey, please see Frederick to the door. Oh, all right. I will. You know what, sweetheart? During those times you were gone, I miss the parties we used to have together with your friends. Yeah, I miss that too. You know, we could still have a party and you invite few of our friends over. Really? Yes. Are you sure you're going to be okay with that? Yes, sure. You know, I also miss partying with everyone. Ah, I'm really happy about this then. You know, this is just going to be a dinner party. Everyone will come over for dinner. You can invite my best friend, Frederick, and your sister, Angel, and also invite Andy, your junior colleague. You know, I really like that guy. But are you sure there is any need for me to invite Andy? Sure. Like I said, I like the guy. Oh, is there any problem? <laughs> no, not at all, darling. It's a nice idea, and I'll do just that. Okay, okay then. Sweetheart. Yeah? I feel sleepy already. Okay. We'll talk about the rest tomorrow morning. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who showed up for this party. Honey. Yes, sir. Want to do some introduction? I don't think everyone here knows Andy. That's true. Um, Andy, meet Frederick. This is my husband's best friend. Nice to meet you. Pleasure is mine. Frederick, this is Andy, my junior colleague at work. And um, you know Angel already. So Andy, meet Angel. This is my younger sister. And as you all know, this is my lovely husband. <laughs> Thank you, love. And thank you to everyone who has been there for me ever since I lost my sight, especially Frederick, my best friend. It's been a roller coaster of emotion ever since I lost my sight. And thanks to my beautiful wife for being the best wife. And Frederick, I hope you get the same treatment you've given me as a best friend. And thanks for being so amazing to my wife. And also, thanks for being the best friend that is sleeping with my wife. What? And to you, Andy, thanks for what you've been doing with my wife. As you can see, I'm not blind. Yeah. I actually pretended to be blind and come home when someone hinted me and showed me pictures of my wife cheating on me. You see, all the while they've been coming in, I saw everything. I decided to be quiet until this day. And to you, Angel, I just asked your sister to invite you over so you can be a witness. And to you, Benita, <laughs> I want you to go in there, pack your things, and leave my house. Yes, I'm, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. The both of you, I want you to leave my house before you regret your actions. What are you to do here? Leave my house! I mean, look at this guy. He looks like a pauper. He's not even properly dressed.
Good afternoon. How may I help you? All right. I'm Mark from the tax office. I'm here to see the accountant and vet the company's papers. Okay, Mr. Mark, the accountant is not available at the moment. You can just sit down and wait. Okay, no problem. But please, what's your name? My name is Jane. Oh, Jane. You have a lovely name. It is a one-syllable name. Is that a compliment or an insult? Uh, no, no, it's a compliment. It makes your name very easy to pronounce. Really? Yes. Um, like I said, the accountant is not available at the moment. Have your seat. Okay. I'm sorry to disturb you. Whatever. Hello? Yes, he's here. Uh, all right, I'll let him in. Mr. Mark, the accountant to see you now. Okay. Uh, Miss Jane, I know we didn't speak much, but it's an honor sitting with you. The accountant's office is the third office on your right. Thank you. Hi, Jane. <laughs> now me. Is anything the problem? No, not really. Just that I heard that the CEO will be coming to the office today. And please, nobody should know about it, okay? I heard the news internally and I said to tell you because I want you to be of your best behavior, okay? No problem. Thank you very much for this information. Mm -mm. Come on, it's nothing. We are friends. What are we friends for? I'm sure if you had the same information, you will let me know. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Be of your best behavior. Do not be distracted. Okay? No problem, I won't. All right, take care. All right. Who could this be? Hello? Hello, Jane. It's Mark. Mark? Are you not the person that came to see the accountant? Yes. How did you get my number? I got it from your friend Naomi. You know what, Jay? I really like you right from the moment I saw you. And I don't just know how to hold back. Look, Mark. Thank you for liking me, but I do not like you. And please, don't you ever call my line again. What rubbish. I think I should just block him. Blocked. Nonsense. Morning. Are you here to see the accountant? Oh, no. I came to see you. Wait, are you that jobless? Like you don't have any other thing to do? I thought I told you I don't like you. But I, I just came to see you. Why will you come here to see me? You don't listen. I said I don't like you. Can't you get that into your head? Hi, Mr. Mark. Hi, Naomi. It's a good thing you're here. Why will you give a total stranger my number? Ah, I'm so sorry I gave him your number without your consent. And besides, Mr. Mark here is not a stranger. He has been in the office for the past two days. And he looks like a very sincere person. And I'm very sure he's into you. He likes you. So I thought the best thing to do was to give him your number. Naomi, I don't like that. 
please, this should be the first and the last time you're giving a stranger my number. I mean, look at this guy. He looks like a pauper. He's not even properly dressed. Are you going to go about giving any stranger my number? I'm sorry about that. Whatever. Mr. Mark, I'm very sorry about my friend and how everything turned out. Please, can I walk you to your car? Can you imagine? Jobless fellow. Just come in here to spoil my mood. Hi, Jane. Naomi, wait, wait, wait. Naomi, you look so happy. Talk to me. What is it? You know I'm your friend. <laughs> okay. Myself and Mark are really hanging out. <laughs> really? Yes. We went out last night and he was really fun to be with and romantic. <laughs> Wait. Naomi, that guy has nothing. I mean, you deserve better. Both of you are not in the same class. He is a nobody. No, I disagree. He has a good heart and that's all that matters. Everyone has their potentials. Okay. If you say so. But don't say I didn't want you. Thank you. Mark is really a great guy. I like him. I see you have been brainwashed already. I have absolutely nothing else to say to you. I think so too, because I really like him. Whatever. Um, that reminds me. You said the CEO was coming in the other day, but he didn't. Yeah, he'll be around today, most definitely. Today. Did you check your meal? It was sent to everybody, so he'll be here today. Oh, 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 that's true. Bye. I just saw it. Bye. And about Mark, I really like him. Ciao! <laughs> Good day, everyone. Good day, sir. We all got a meal yesterday that the CEO will be showing up. He called him that he had other plans, but good thing is he has showed up today. I called you that you all should be at your best behaviors. And one last thing, I have been transferred to the headquarters. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations, sir. So the new CEO will be the interim manager, and he said he will be selecting one of you as the new manager. So, like I said, be in your best behaviors. So everyone, join me as I welcome our new CEO. Oh. Good thing the new CEO is here. I'll be handing over to him. And I'll be leaving now. Over to you, sir. Thank you all for the warm welcome. I am Mark, the CEO, and I will be here for a few months until I assign you new manager. I will send you all the brief to your emails. Um, thank you, and you may take your leave now. Thank you, sir. Mr. Mark, I didn't, I didn't know you were the CEO. Naomi, I'm really sorry I said nothing of such to you. You know, Jane, the very first day I saw you, I was blown away by your beauty. You know, I said to myself, it would be easier for you accepting to love me if you know I was the CEO. And I really wanted you to love me for who I am. But you should have just told me to make things easier. I wanted to make it the hard way so I can get it real and true. M Mark. I really liked you, actually. It's just that I was scared. Of what? I... I'm sorry. 
You know what? Let's just give it another trial. No, we ain't giving it another trial. What you have now is infatuation. Miss Jane, please leave my office. You can try. Miss Jane, I said leave my office. Why didn't you tell me anything about this? Naomi, I'm sorry. I'm sure you understand the reason why now. So you actually love Jane first? Naomi, I love you. Really? All that you said to Jane in my presence? Naomi, nothing of such matters now. Look, all that matters right now is that I love you. And I'm sorry. It's fine. I love you too. I'm sorry for everything. I love you too.